Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in Kochi in Kerala and I've been to Kerala many times before but I absolutely love Kerala so I'm really happy to be here. So I'm at my friend Atul's house and he's got a beautiful house over here. So we got to Kochi last night. We spent three incredible days in Goa and I'm spending three more days in Kerala. We were really tired last night so we didn't really do much but we just woke up and we're about to have breakfast and then we're gonna go explore Kochi. So Atul is an expert at no. making puris. No. <laughs> and this Show me your puri. Copyrights, no. <laughs> you should be flaunting your skills. No. <laughs> so this is Raphael and he was my wake up call today. Yeah, so we've got some puri bhaji for breakfast today. What is this? Oh, halwa. Nice. So we had a lovely breakfast which... Um, everyone except for me contributed in making and uh, today's plan is to explore Fort Kochi which is the old part of Kochi So we finally made it to Fort Kochi we're in this part of Fort Kochi called Jew Town I didn't actually know this but apparently many years ago a lot of Jews were settled in this area so there's a famous synagogue here which is what we're going to check out. I've never actually seen a synagogue before so I'm quite interested in seeing one. We just saw the synagogue. Unfortunately, photography wasn't allowed inside, so I couldn't take a video. But the history was quite interesting. So apparently, the Romans drove Jewish people away from Israel back in the day, and they came to India. They came to this place called Kanganur, and from there they came to Cochin. And uh, the synagogue was built in 1568, so it's quite old. So this building behind me is the Matanchari Palace and it's a Dutch palace. The only other Dutch palace I've seen is in this place called Trankubar in Tamil Nadu and it didn't really look like this at all so uh, this is quite different from what I've seen. Wow, the street is called Burger Street. <laughs> So we're going to this cafe called Kashi Art Cafe. back home from Fort Kochi. Fort Kochi was really nice. I've actually been there before but I was super young then. I think my brother wasn't even born when we visited so it was really nice going back there again and today has been such an adventure. In case you're wondering where I got my t-shirt from, it's from this website called Print Octopus. They have really cool t-shirts so I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you want to check it out. Now I think we're just gonna have dinner and call it a day and we have exciting things planned for tomorrow. It's day two in Kerala and we're going on a road trip to Alapi. So we've reached Alapi and this is our boat. We're taking a three-hour boat ride. So I've actually been to Alapi before uh, and I spent an entire night on the boat. So that was kind of cool. Right now we're just doing a three-hour boat trip. interesting to see the countryside and see how people actually live here and they actually use boats to commute within these areas. Look 
that bird sunday Whoa. thing <laughs> are you sure that's real or not oh it is moving yeah so cute drying it out <laughs> look so many ducks over here So we're stopping here right now for lunch. We're gonna have a traditional Kerala style lunch. <laughs> our food, and it's Maria's first time eating with her hands. The food is really good. You're heavy. He's heavy. He's heavy. <laughs> I just got done with the boat ride and it was such a nice experience. Even though I've done it before, I really enjoyed it. The food was really nice and the views were stunning. And uh, now I think we're just going to drive back to Fortune and chill at home. So today is my last day in Kochi and we've come back to Fort Kochi because I really liked it here and there were a few things we didn't see the other day. So right now I'm outside St. Francis Church and that's the first spot we're checking out. I just went inside the church, photography wasn't allowed inside but apparently this is the first European church to be built in India and uh, Vasco da Gama's body was buried inside this church and later transferred to Lisbon. I think the best thing to do in Fort Kochi is just to walk around because the lanes here are really nice and the buildings are really old school and nice. just been walking around Fort Kochi for a bit and I think we're gonna go meet Atul's friends now. I think I'm gonna end this vlog over here. The last uh, one week has been amazing. I've had such an incredible time with Atul and Maria traveling to Mumbai, Goa and Kochi and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! So I'm at the airport about to leave. Can't believe this trip is already over. So sad to be leaving. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. See nice. you soon. I'll come to Netherlands and sure. visit you. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>